So we're here with Nathan Paulsberg and Dale Abenanti, both uh, professional firefighters and technical rope rescue experts, as well as uh, Sprat Level 3 operators. So we'll go through the setup of the winch, uh, the do's and don'ts, how to rig it, how to attach it to the tripod, how to use the accessories in the case. So the mounting plate is a clamping style compression plate. It'll fit anything up to a three inch diameter. Once the clamping mechanism is adjusted to the diameter that you'd like, everything is going to be just wing nut control to snug it in place. So now we're going to back tie the plate to the foot of the tripod or to another stationary anchor to keep the plate from chattering up the tripod leg once there's a load on it. So really, the clamping mechanism of the plate is a positioning mechanism, whereas the full strength anchor comes from the strap. So this is actually your anchor. This is more of your spatial positioning along the leg of the tripod. Let's go ahead and load up. So there's a pin to receive either of these hooks and then a removable pin to lock it in place. One feature to, to point out, we had everything set up very clean with a self belay and the working line. Depending if you have a right-handed or left-handed operator or the track, the course of your line, because this is fully reversible, you can orient the winch to one side or the other very easily without changing your whole system. So to load the winch, there's a fair lead here, which is going to establish an entry angle of the rope onto the drum of the winch. All of the wraps will happen in a clockwise manner. The winch will only rotate clockwise. So we start with a baseline of three wraps on the winch and then through the shrouded self tailing head, hence the lock head. Um, and what this does is now that rope cannot inadvertently be removed from the winch, which would put the load at risk of dropping. So we always start with a baseline of, th of three wraps. Um, the wraps are where you will gain your friction purchase on the winch. So more wraps that you have, the more rope, rope contact you have on the drum, creating more friction. So for heavier loads, say a two person rescue load, you may want to go up to four wraps, which is the max of the drum will accept. For a lighter load, especially in lowering situations where you may want to reduce the friction, you can go down to a minimum of two wraps. But it has to be two wraps is the minimum, not a single wrap. So three wraps is our standard baseline for about a 200 pound load. Beyond that four, lighter than that, we lower out on two. For the manual operation using the crank, it's a locking crank. This mechanism will lock it into the hub of the device so you don't have to worry about any type of dropped item risk. These are all two-speed winches using the manual version with the crank. Since this is a back drive winch versus a top drive winch, now when you go clockwise, you are in the higher speed lower torque so roughly 13 to one mechanical advantage. So that would be going forward. Coming the other way counterclockwise is where you implement the 40 to one mechanical advantage. So lower speed, higher torque. 